Hello everybody, my name is Richard Vigorelli and this is Vigorelli Institute. Now, seeing as it is October and it is the spooky time of year, which I should do a video on to why that is, and it's almost a universal thing, we're going to talk about some logic. Now, um, there's some construction going on nearby, so if you hear a banging sound and possible swearing, that's why. So. Um, I want to talk about uh, Buffy, okay? By the way, love Buffy, love Angel, excellent series, the characters, the world building. Um, as I said, <laughs> boy, can I call it. Anyway, um, the characters, the world building. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. And the storylines, all of that, absolutely beautiful, especially for the late 90s and early knots. Now, let's get into it, shall we? So Buffy takes place in a world, basically ours, and there's this undercurrent of good versus evil thing going on. There's demons running around, there's vampires. I did a similar video to this little while, uh, actually the very first one in this series, called... Um, I actually did it last year, right at about this time. Yeah, about True Blood. This is going to be similar, but there's some notable differences. Okay? And there's one girl in every generation born that can save the world from the vampires and the demons. That's in the opening credits, season one. Here we go. All right. So let's say that you live in a universe that is like this. Okay? Uh, demons are real, they are out, they are fleshy, and can do things. Uh, they have powers. Um, if you get bitten by a vampire and then fed its blood, you become a vampire. Um, they can be harmed by weapons sometimes, depending on a few things, etc., etc., etc. Okay, everything that we know about this universe, okay? And it goes all the way back through history. This is not a recent development. Okay, so the Slayer has been around in some form all throughout time-ish. Okay, uh, what causes a new Slayer to come up is the previous one loses. By the way, when you lose, bye. And a new one gets tapped. She the powers transfer, she inherits them, and off we go after we find out why we do the thing. Okay? So, what happens? Okay. Now, the way this, well, let's go back. The way the Slayer was created, and this is canon, uh, humans in, I think it was ancient Tanzania, they were kind of getting their, well, getting handed to them uh, by demons. So they picked a girl from the tribe and imbued her with all of these uh, increased strength, increased speed, reflexes, acuity, etc., 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 so that she could fight these things because the big strong men of the tribe were losing. The reason why they picked a girl is because all the men were dead. Okay? So, what they do is this girl becomes perpetual. That way, see, the young women are not going to fight. They're not battle worthy, okay? It's like blowing bubbles at Satan. It's not going to happen, okay? Feminists, come on down, okay? So they pick this girl, and if she dies in battle, another one comes up, and eventually they'll just either whittle through the tribe because they're screwed anyway, or they'll take out the demons and they'll be safe. Okay? You know, ish. So, this then starts perpetuating all through the world, and apparently there's some kind of karmic line that the Slayers go through, and they... Um spring up in a given region to where they're going to be the most needed, um, and that's where things fall apart. Right, so. Okay. See, 
from what I gather from Angel, okay, demons are really quite ubiquitous. Um, I mean, uh, in the season premiere of the Buffy uh, of the Buffy revival, I believe I believe it's season six, when it went from um, what was then called the WB, now called the CW, uh, into um, a now defunct channel called UPN. Uh, there's a motorcycle gang full of demons, and they're all the same kind. You'd think people would notice this thing. Well, you know, Billy's looking strange since he ha started hanging out with these guys. His teeth have changed. He pulled back his face. I thought it was makeup. What are you nuts? And it's like they grow their numbers by scaring the crap out of people or something. It's weird. Anyway. Um, you've got all of this stuff going on. There's even secret societies devoted to taking these things out, like the Watchers, like the Hunters. Um, there's the Initiative that comes up, I believe, Buffy Season 4, and that's modern, okay? This would have been a thing, all right? Uh, yet everybody's like, I don't know what you're talking about. It doesn't stay the vampire. Why is that? You're just like, they're literally right there. Can you not see what is in front of your face? Were you born stupid or did you have to learn it? Good Lord, newbie. 50 bonus points if you catch that one. Anyway, if we're going through history all the way back to, you know, the hunter-gatherer era in any given society, um, this is going to be part of the growth of their civilization, okay? And one of two things is going to happen, and I guarantee it. A, demons mean, therefore demons bad. Two, demons strong make friends with demons. Demons don't hurt us. Demons hurt enemy. Okay? Guarantee you, every society will adopt one of those two positions, okay? And eventually, either will bite them, okay? So what happens is, as societies grow and shift and change, okay, and they go through the normal political stuff, eventually someone is going to pop up who is human, who is going to be very pro-demon and they are going to welcome the demons into the society. Now, if this person gains full administrative power, then the society will be forced to shift to being pro-demon. Okay? In which case, the country will now have demons living in it and, I don't know, tending shops. Okay? Standing in the army, etc. Others, however, that believe demon bad will expunge and expel demons from their territory, okay? Now, as things boil out and work themselves out, um, some societies will be overrun by either side. Others will flourish, and their influence, as they get stronger, will bleed over into neighboring societies, okay? Eventually, there will be three general types of societies regardless of administration type, okay? They will be humans better than demon, no demon allowed, demon-human okay, and they'll be kind of an intermixed group, either segregated based on, you know, species, um, or they will be allowed to intermarry and produce hybrid offspring, okay? in which case then we get subspecies, okay? Or, the third kind, um, humans don't exist, and the demons rule the area, okay? Or the humans do exist, and the demons rule the area, and the humans are 100% subservient, i.e. enslaved, okay? Which is, from what I can tell, the aim of several different types of demons in this universe, okay? 
And then there's the fourth one where, well, kind of an adjunct to three, where there's no humans in that given area because they've all either been eaten or just died, and it is 100% demon controlled, and I'm willing to bet that their corruption will have spread into the biosphere, and what we call biology doesn't exist. Okay? If there's any biology there at all. Okay? Now, in this universe, demons run the gambit from weird, feral, animal-looking corruption things to basically funky-looking humans. Okay? And, sorry, there's... There we go, I finally got it. Anyway, thing landed on my nose. And... They are... They run the range from being full-on feral, basically animals, to perfectly sentient, just like any one of us. You know, with a few minor distinctions here and there. Okay. Now, the result of this is there is going to be some notable differences, okay, in the way warfare behaves, okay? Societies that do not like demons will favor technology and tactics to destroy demons. Humans are apparently extraordinarily squishy. So, if it'll kill a demon, it'll kill a human. I don't care about hurting humans, okay? Or maybe I don't want to hurt humans. I want to hurt demons, okay? So, I may adopt technologies and strategies that don't hurt humans, but take out demons, like, you know, throwing a rock through um, tissue paper, okay? That would be the optimal, okay? Um, there would also be societies where demons and humans fight side by side in the army, okay? And they might be friends. I don't know. It depends, okay? There would be other societies where it is demons only in the military because they're big and strong, humans are pink and squishy, and you're not going to do anything, okay? So, along with that, I highly doubt that the societies would stymie somewhere in the High Middle Ages, okay? I'm willing to bet the High Middle Ages would last a little bit longer, but eventually, especially in the humans' only societies, that um, they'll start coming up with tech. They'll notice something that is highly predictable with a given type of demon that they regularly run into, and they will exploit that. And they will find a way to systematize it. That way it is predictable. Okay? and they will create technology around that. And then somebody will come along and say, ah, let's do this a little bit better. Let's make this a little bit more regular, okay? So what will happen is there will be a sudden surge of technological innovation, okay? And, of course, not to be outdone, the demons will see this shift and they will start to come up with their own forms of technology as a workaround. Because if they don't change, they're dead. Okay? That's how warfare works. Also, they're going to come up with new ways to attack the humans to do whatever it is for whatever reason. The humans are going to come up with new ways to stop that from happening. Which means you now have an arms race. Okay? And the weapons will get ever more complicated and intense and deadly until somebody figures out how to split the atom and other things. Okay? Not only that, we have, we have established that magic is definitely a thing in this universe. So magic will also evolve. Okay? The long-form incantations won't work in battle. They take too long. OK? 
Okay? Now, if you can have your spellcaster up above the action, and he can, you know, do stuff, um, you know, banishing spells, whatnot, then, yeah, all we got to do is keep him busy and try not to let the dude in the robe get hit. Okay? And once that's done, we're done. Okay? Which leads into a few interesting societal changes. Okay? And we'll get back to the Slayer in a minute. So, given that magic is definitely a thing, all of the societies will have a section of the society devoted to magic. Okay? Now, depending on how the magic is used and who can use it, if it's all I gotta do is learn how to talk and say the words the right way and have the right inflections, then guess what, kid? You're gonna be a wizard. I am? That's right, Harry. Okay? Or, if it is something you have to be born with, then they will have family lines. They will have ways of figuring out who can and who can't. There will be certain things that will either be bred into the population um, in order to generate more magic users because it is going to be effective. Okay? So you're going to want as many of those as you can possibly get, because the person's a living weapon, all right? Especially if it's a do-or-die situation, okay? And, by the way, like the uh, True Blood universe, war will be endemic, okay? In fact, the peace love people will be seen as weak, pathetic, um, and so forth. Additionally, especially in the hybrid society, um, Game of Thrones style intrigue, oh man, that's going to be par for the course. I mean, if you're not conniving, dude, you're gone. You have to be, okay? Um, a society like the Watchers will also exist, but they'll be more like Watchmen, meaning they will have ways of monitoring out beyond the city and the nation to look for incoming threats. They will have spies. They will have um, some sort of remote viewing, like I don't have one. This is cat toy. Let's say that this is made out of crystal, you know, something I can gaze into and look around, okay? Something like that. And they'll be quite ubiquitous, okay? And eventually, um, at least non-magically endowed societies will come up with technology to do literally the exact same thing, just in a different way. That's called convergent evolution. And by the way, it happens on societal levels as well, okay? All right, uh, let's get back to the Slayer, shall we? So, it started off with one girl, okay? Now, I'm willing to bet that she won that war, okay? So, word's going to get around that this tribe survived, okay? And, you know, they'll say, hey, how did you guys do this? Oh, we, we did this ritual, and we got one. Sweet, thanks. So they take the ritual, imbue their own, and it spreads from there, okay? Uh, given it's a perpetual, um, whenever she dies, another one gets tapped, okay? Which means there is going to be hundreds, maybe even thousands of slayers on the planet, okay? Because I'm willing to bet Every single tribe will have one, at least one, maybe more. Um, if it was me, okay, and I'm facing a horde of these things, and all I got's a frickin' stick, okay, I'm gonna want as many superpowered chicks as I can find, okay, and I'm gonna use my big strong men as her flanks to keep her safe, okay? Now, one is good, 20's a lot better, Okay, what I would do is I would get every single woman 
in the tribe, okay, who is of reasonable age, and give her the powers, assuming she can survive it, okay? Which means there will be several societies in this universe where slayers are ubiquitous, okay? Not only that, there will also be several societies where being a slayer provides political power as well. Because, look, pal, I'm the one going out there, risking my life, Maybe I should have a little bit of thanks. You ever think of that? Okay? So, having her be just some random girl in some school somewhere that gets these powers and... I mean, by the very, very... Halfway through the first season... Okay, with all the stuff that happened in Sunnydale High School, everybody in that school would go, holy crap, vampires are frickin' real, there's monsters everywhere, we're inundated with demons. We gotta figure this stuff out. Everybody's like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know where. There's no vampires, what are you talking about? Okay, it, it, it doesn't make sense. Okay. It should be so ubiquitous, even that in a society similar to our own, there should be ca cable channels devoted to the demon market, okay? There should be TV shows hosted by a dude with horns, green skin, and red eyes going, hey kids, how's it going today, okay? There should be all kinds of stuff going on, and while we don't see it, it should be there. Okay? Yeah. Well, because eventually the war breaks down, because everybody's basically on similar footing, and you reach the same weirdness as two sword masters that know exactly how good the other one is. They'll just be standing there holding their swords and looking at each other, and Dungeon Diet's dumb, but people who know what's going on, they're like, holy crap, man, these guys are intense. They're basically waiting for the first person to either screw up and make a move or retreat. Okay? And that's the end of the fight. I've seen this. It's weird. <laughs> okay? So, um, speaking of, martial arts in this world would be a point of honor. Um as would technology, okay? Because those are going to be the things that keep, this, keep society alive, okay? Um, if you look here where I am in the South, farmers are thought highly of, as are soldiers, okay? Because the farmers put food on your table and the soldiers keep the bad guys away, okay? That's why they're respected here, okay? In places like Silicon Valley, um, people that can come up with new technology and make the pixels do fun things are highly valued because that's what keeps the lights on there, okay? So, in societies where soldiering and armies are extremely important because they keep the evil things away, um, those are going to be very, very important. So many, many of the human-only societies are going to be highly militaristic. I guarantee it. Okay. Um, vernacular will change. Uh, the way you conduct yourself will change. Um, they'll notice certain things. Uh, in fact, it is canon in the Buffy universe that bright, flashy colors are attractive to vampires. So if you live in a region that's heavily, that's heavy with vampires, dress will be very, very bland. Okay? And there will also be a cultural curfew, um, to get inside before nightfall. Okay? Because that's when they come out. And you don't go outside at night. Ever. I don't care if anybody's dying, you're going to die. Okay? So what will happen is 
defenses will spring up, and this is going to parallel um, true, my True Blood video of something that exploits the weaknesses of vampires. Okay? And then the vampires will come up with defenses. Okay? Arms race again. Okay? Uh, as far as demon-controlled territory, um, given their natural pro uh, proclivity to infight, um, those territories will probably be held by warlords of some kind and be highly authoritarian. Okay? I highly doubt that what we would call a republic or a democracy would ever really spring up okay, in this universe. So a nation like the United States probably wouldn't exist. Okay. Um, highly authoritarian governments probably would. Okay. I'm willing to bet something of a Roman-style republic would spring up, just because there would be just because factions always form. It's normal with humans. Um, basically, everybody says the exact same thing, but there's different ways about going about it. Okay, so with these, there will probably be oligarchies to begin with, and then as the population expands, they will come to kind of sort of-ish resemble what we would call a republic, but not really. More of an aristocratic republic. Okay, because certain nobles... We only have so many seats. They're not always going to be occupied by the same because stuff. Okay. Um, it would actually be, you know, looking at it from a distance, a really interesting world to look at. Uh, to look at the political science of it, to look at the sociology of it, and look at how things behave there. I would not want to live there. Oh, dear Lord. No. No, 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 no. Okay. So, that's about all I've got for you on that. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hit that big red subscribe button. Like, share, and comment. Feel free to call me a jerk. Okay. Oh, by the way, one more thing. I'm willing to bet... At some point in time, some dude is going to get shown up by a slayer, and he's going to want that power. Okay? So he's going to come up, so him and some buddies are going to get together, and they're going to figure out how to bestow that power onto a male. And there will be male slayers, whatever that means. Okay? But let's go ahead and wrap, all right? Uh, if you... Uh, like what I do and would like to support me, please feel free to visit my websites. Uh, links are in the description. I have things like this here. Okay, This is the flag of the Republic of Corsica that I came up with. I've got others up there, um, like Arabia is a tribal republic. Um, India doesn't exist. It's several different countries, as China and um, Russia during perestroika, massive issues. Okay, and that's all found in a history book that I wrote called Fate Earth. Got a bestiary called um, Homo sapiens mysticus. It's an in-universe book. It actually exists there. And I'm also working on my second novel. It is in uh, beta right now. It's actually sitting right here on my computer. And I am going through those notes as I am recording this. Okay, so I will be back later, guys. You take care. Bye-bye.